What caught your eye from the SCG on Friday night? I just wanted to mention this guy. He's an absolute weapon, Nick Blakey. Like, what he is doing is so unique in the game. No one is... Uh, having as much damage per possession as what he is, but also he's having to play taller. Like he had Mackay, he had a bit of Kerno with McCartan's out and also Rampy out. Seven intercept marks that he's taken. That's off Kerno, and then he goes. So I don't think any player in the game has benefited more from the new rules, the stand rule, the kick-in rule, and and the space that he's been allowed. And what you're saying there, has he benefited personally from that injury crisis down back with well, both McCartan's out and Rampy? Giving him some responsibility. I, I, I wondered about his competitive competitiveness earlier on in his career but he's so competitive now he's having an extraordinary season and whew, I reckon he's a top 20 player in the game and in terms of Carlton one of their biggest problems of course is their inaccuracy their inability to sort of like uh, conjure up any confidence in now front who of who could God. fix it well that man over yeah. there so you want to have a look at what Harry Mackay is doing and, and what he's not doing right and one aspect of goal king which is never spoken about is your run-up so your run-up's absolutely critical so let's look at what Harry Mackay is doing here. So look at where he's actually running. So he's not lining himself up with the middle of the goals. We'll look at that one more time. He's actually, the ball goes to where Harry is running. So he's not actually running to the middle of the goals. And look at his positioning. So his legs having to chase the ball. But that's one aspect. So he's not running to the centre of the goals. He's actually kicking it to where, to where he's lining up. So that's one aspect. So I want to look at secondary with your, the, with the way you hold the ball. So you want to hold as still as possible. And he wobbles the ball around. So he just, uh, and when I look at that again, nice and close, where Harry Mackay, watch the way he, he has like a you know, circle, the way he rolls this ball around, uh, just on execution. So what that makes you do is your leg has to chase the ball, and he has to chase that ball because he's wobbling it. And look at his positioning again. He's actually kicking the ball to where he's aiming, and that is the point. So if we just come back uh, on to here, yeah, Harry Mackay. So you just want to... I look, Plug a lock is what I learned from. So you want to walk in and keep it as still as possible. So all you're doing is that motion. Harry Mackay is running it in that way. So then he drops it on the instep and his leg has to chase the ball, which is why he's missing it to the right versus keeping it still and then that's all you have to do. So his margin for error is too big. And if you want to line yourself up, go to the middle of the goals versus Harry is lining himself up there. And then the whole body has to come across. So he's just inventing so many problems for himself. But, that, but based on what you say there, that would seem to be, in theory, a pretty easy problem to fix. And for him, I would go and see Buddy Franklin. Buddy Franklin used to do exactly the same thing. The whole body was going that yeah, way and his hips were going that way. Jason Dunstall tried to teach him. He put posts on either side and said, you have to run through those posts. Buddy kicked the post down because he was wanting to run to his left. But now up in Sydney, he's straightened his run of up and he's one of the great kicks for goal. So it can be done for Harry Mackay. You staggered, though, that he's eight seasons into his career and, and he's displaying traits like that this far into it. It is. And what happened on the weekend was he would have dropped seven marks. He would have gobbled up. But his confidence is so low that he, if he marks it, he's got to have a shot for goal. Mm -hmm. So I only dropped seven marks due to a lack of confidence in his kicking as well. Who's Good the, Lord, who's the forward Good. coach there? Ash Hansen is the one looking yeah. after it. Yeah. Right, OK. Then, now, they've got injuries. Yeah, too, he got they? problems outside of Mackay. And a few more went down on uh, in this particular game as, as well. Um, George Hewitt went down. Ollie Hollands went down. Nick Newman went down. And the worrying one was Paddy Cripps. Uh, like, this is Ollie Hollands going down. So, yeah, they, they have an issue with depth anyway, Brownie. Um, they're going to lose some soldiers out of that game just played. And uh, it, it, it's a real worry now with what this club is uh, going to be able to do. And, and we don't know... What that, that was late. damage is done. Yeah, he, he attempted and did come back on, but ankle. We're yet to hear what um, what uh, damage has been done to that part of the body.